In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about all the things that I use when I'm designing and drawing up a plan. There's a lot of tools that you need, and I'm gonna show you what I use and what I've come to like, and I'll put links to all these things in the description below. Let me show you something. So I'm working on a few plans here, and I thought it might be a good idea to show you the, the stuff that I like to use and will use on every design, irrigation design that I do. And I'm gonna show you each one of these things. And then, like I said, I'll put links to these in the description below. That way you can find these and check them out. So one of the must haves and things you've gotta have is you've gotta have a scale. Now you've gotta have both an engineering scale and an architectural scale because you're, you're not gonna know when you get a set of plans what it's gonna be. So you need to have both of them. And I recommend this, this is a good metal one. I think you can get these at Office Depot or Staples, one of those. I can't remember where, where I got it. I like these metal ones because they're heavy and slide them around. It also holds the paper down. And I have this old plastic one here of this architectural scale, but it's good as well. If you need a good place to start, this is where I started when I first started designing plans. This is what I bought. Next, you're going to want some sort of these template that does circles. This one I like because it does squares, hexagons, and some and triangles, some other shapes and things like that. I end up using this small one the most, but I've got this bigger one too. And they're also good to make curves and things like that if you need to. But these are a must have, especially when you're designing and do, drawing them by hand. Because you, you, you make all these little circles where your valves are, you make drip transition points, all kinds of things. And they actually do have rulers and scales on the side of them. And so that's kind of cool. But you, you've got to have a set of these along with your other scales that you've got. And then also you want to get you some, when you're really doing a lot of design and particularly landscape layouts and stuff, you want to get some things that you can do some curves in. So that's always good to have. Uh, these are just some small ones that I have and I use them every once in a while. Especially when I've got to draw in stuff like these lines that ended up being on this landscape plan that my dad actually drew. And so I've got to come in here and draw these in on here and so I'll measure out but then I'll use these to get a good smooth line and make it look really good. Another thing you're going to want is you're going to want one of these triangle deals and you can make all your straight lines right here and I mean it's just just a must have when you're drawing these things by hand. Keeps your lines straight, you can straight trace them or if you're making little dotted lines like I did here for my main line, you got to have one of these as well. Now I want to talk to you about pins and pencil and here's another pen too it's good to have a good mechanical pencil a lot of times what i'll do is i'll mark like over here i'll mark my heads and i'll just mark them measure them out and mark them with pencil and then i'll come back with uh one of my templates and i'll use these pins here man i love these pins and this is actually the reason why i wanted to make this video is because of this pin right here try to zoom in on it here prisma color Premier, and they've got these different numbers of the fineness, but these are all just black. And typically I use this, the number three, and then the five, and I use the one the most. These, I recommend these right here. It's like a marker, almost like a Sharpie marker, but it's got a finer tip than you can get on a ultra fine or extra fine Sharpie. These are even finer tipped, and so you can get your lines really small and smooth and make them look really good. So I highly recommend this brand and these pins right here. I use them all the time. This is my third or fourth set that I've had. They actually last quite a while, so I'd get these if you're gonna do some irrigation design and draw them by hand. Now, other thing I like, I like these pins here. This is the Pilot brand, and it's the .38. It's the ultra fine, extra fine tip on that. If I'm gonna use this on my design, you know, I'll, of course I'll use black, or I might use red if I'm gonna mark the main line in red. Uh, but I like these pins when I'm doing any kind of writing or doing anything. I like that ultra fine pen because it's just good to, to have good, clear handwriting. Another thing you're going to want to have, you're going to want to have a notepad. Any, any kind of notepad will do because you want to make notes. Uh, you know, when you're designing, zoning this stuff out, you're going to want to make all your notes and stuff on a notepad. And finally, you always want to keep a calculator around because when you start doing your hydraulics and doing all your zoning when it comes to your plan, you've got to have this notepad and your calculator, and that way you can zone it right and 
place your valves exactly where you want them. Now, every irrigation design that we do, this is the stuff that I use. They're really must have tools when it comes to irrigation design. Now, if you're doing it off the computer, you know, you can do this on a good CAD program and I do those as well. But really, I always come back to drawing these things by hand. And I had a guy recommend that to me. He said, even if you're going to translate this over to the computer, it's good to do a hand-drawn design and do all your design work by hand. And then take that design and just plug it into the computer. Instead of doing all your from scratch design on the computer, it's he's, he believes, and I believe too, it's actually better. You get a better design and it's easier than to go on the computer and just put it in. Gilly Staggs here, American Irrigator, trying to make you a better irrigator.